sure that I didn't film the cutscene. I thought I would chat with Dutch and then the uh, the mission would start, but apparently you just right had now. to get, go we just heard about ten tank. miles near him. And you need some extra guns? Yeah, why not? Micah, Kieran, anyone strange turns up, you kill him. Rest of you. Oh, let's go. Right. Let's go kill him all. Okay, let's go get that boy back. Let's go. Let's go beat him up. Oh, this this is a this is not a regular day. We gotta get the appropriate weaponry. This is why we get a shot. No, not the varmint. Right, we need a shot. Yeah. This occasion is special. We wanna drop. By the way, if sorry for not showing the cutscene. Apparently. The Braithwaites, the one family, abducted the little child of ours. Yeah, Jack. So we gotta. So we're going in. I swear, I'll kill everyone there. Easy, John. Try to stay calm. I'm fine. How the hell did they get to him? I don't know, but we are getting him back, and they will pay. I promise you that. Can I run? What about the gold? Who gives a damn about the gold? I got Jack. I hate to break it to you, but I don't think there is any gold. Or if there is, it's hidden somewhere no one knows. What? I've turned every stone. Christ's sake, Hosea. After all that, another perfect scam. We underestimated them. No, they underestimated us. Enough talk. There is no point arguing how we got here. This is where we are. And we are going to fix it. Yes, let's go. Come on. Those bastards are going to pay. Let me just do something real quick. Don't worry, okay. the moment Take I see him in my scope. Nobody makes a move until I say so. Oh, okay. Ready. I'm not gonna kill anybody I've seen, I swear. How dare they abduct the child? Alright everyone, dismount and come to me. We'll go in on foot from here. I'm gonna leave my horse back. First song, now Jack. We should have stayed out of all of this. Bit late for that, ain't it? Quiet. We're going to fix this right now. Like they don't know we're coming. Come on. Let's get this done. John, oh, I see them. You sure you're okay? Like I said, I'm fine. Follow my lead. Both these redneck families think they can ruin us? I don't think so. There they are. Who steals a goddamn boy? I'm gonna let fly at those sons of bitches. This is a picture right John, here. I need you to stay calm. Get down here now, you inbred trash! What the hell do you want? Can I start shooting? I see all of them. I have. 15 bullets in my magazine Easy, and they're we less than 15 the right in my head you must have known we would shouldn't have messed with our business now should you whatever complaint you have with us alleged or otherwise that is a young boy that is not the way you do things hand him over Get the hell off our land! As I said, I have 15 bullets. Ready the second you want me to shoot. If you ain't gonna be civilized about this. Let's 
start shooting. Sell me now. Yeah. I, I just I needed one more second there. All right, I, I'm gonna hide first, and then I'm gonna clean them all up. Something pushed up against it. Shit! Doc! Archie! Hold them down here! We got more coming in! Don't worry, got him. I'm gonna show my boys who's the boss around here. You want 
me to kill you too, old woman? You bastards! Where's the boy? We have lived in this house for 120 years. We never had no problems except by Where Yankees. Where is the boy? Who took him? You killed my son! Oh, and I will surely kill the rest of them unless you start talking. Oh, I know your time. Common scum. Where is the boy? You filth. All right. We get her out of here. What about them? Now let's get this hag outside. Any more of her sons to deal with? No. I reckon they're all dead. Oh, shoot. Dutch is not getting no shit right now. You got that one, Arthur? I guess that's the end of the goddamn cribbage game. You did this to yourself, mate. Woman, you did this to yourself. I never liked you. Why'd you take the boy, Mrs. Braithwaite? You stole my Boys are off liquor. limits. You stole my horses. Ain't no rules in war, mister. Matthews. Yes. There are rules in war, actually. Where's the boy? My sons gave him to Angelo Bronte. So my guess is Saint Denis. Either there or on my boat to Italy. Let's go. Arthur, come on. What are we doing with her? Leave her. I told you she was crazy. <laughs> Never liked her, to be honest. Always seemed stupid. What an idiot. Arthur, I mean, Dutch did not get no shit about that. He, he. It's gonna work out, John. Yeah. It's gonna work out. Listen to Dutch. Now, I don't expect you to understand this, but I have never been more proud of you than I am right now, brother. You're doing the right thing. If I don't get that boy back safe, I'm. She, she'll kill us all. I know, but looking at this logically, well, that boy is fine. They took him to scare us. Nobody takes a boy to harm him. He's right, John. What do you think, Arthur? My boy will be fine. But, well, of course, Marston scared rotten. We, we killed all those people. We stirred up all that trouble <laughs> for nothing. No, no, not for nothing. For living. Now, we get that boy back, and we go. Trust me. Hey, Dutch, we got a problem. Not a problem. Visitors, a solution. Good day, fine people. Mr. Vanderland, Mr. Matthews, I presume. And who are you? Rip Van Winkle. Huh. Good day, sir. Agent Milton, Pinkerton Detective Agency. Agent Ross. Ah, Mr. Morgan, nice to see you again. And to what do we owe the pleasure, Agent Moron? I don't know if you're aware, but this... This is a civilized land now. We didn't kill all them savages only to allow the likes of you to act like human dignity, and basic decency was outmoded or not yet invented. This thing, it's done. This place ain't no such thing. It's civilized. It's man. So in love with greed, he has forgotten himself and found only appetites. And as a consequence, that lets you take what you please, kill whom you please, and hang the rest of us? Who made you the messiah to these lost souls you've led so horribly astray? I'm nothing but a seeker, Mr. Milton. 
You ain't much of anything more than a killer, Mr. Vanderlind. But I came to make a deal. It's time. You come with me, and I give the rest of you three days to run off, disappear, and go and live like human beings someplace else. You came for me? Risk life and limb in this den of lowlifes and murderers so that they might live and love? <sighs> Ain't that fine. <laughs> I don't want to kill all these folk, Dutch. Just you. In that case, it'd be my honor to join you. Excuse me, friends. I have an appointment to keep with... I think your new friend should leave now, Dutch. You're making a big mistake, all of you. <laughs> yeah, dreadful. We have got something, something to live and die for. How awful for us. Mr. Milton, stop following us. We'll be gone soon. I'm afraid I can't. And when I return, I'll be with 50 men. All of you will die. Run away from this place, you fools! Run! Come on. Get your damn hands off of me, boy. What now? We get out of here. And quick. Any ideas? I know a big old house. Hidden in the swamps outside Saint Denis. I'm sure they'll find us eventually, but it should buy us a few days. A few days is all we need. There's a spot out by Shady Bell. Lenny and I got into that dispute with the previous occupiers. Place is well hidden. You and Arthur, right out to make sure no one else has moved in. Lenny, you go follow those fools out of here. Make sure that they leave. And John, we'll get Jack back, and we'll get going. Rest of you, get packing! Come on, John. This is crazy. We'll get packed up, but... Let's go. We gotta... Follow me. I know the way. Don't worry, I'm so heated up right now, I'm gonna kill anybody that I see. First guy on the road, he's a treat for me. It's gonna be alright, John. We should be going for Jack. We will. We have to move everyone first before that bastard Milton comes back with an army. We ain't no use to Jack in jail or at the end of a rope. I don't even know what to think no more. Just gotta keep our cool. Be smart about this. Smart? Are you joking? We made too much noise once again. We drew right to us. I mean, how many people we killed the past few weeks? Far too many. Oh my god. The past few weeks were uncountable. Getting involved with those two families? Even if I had a number, I wouldn't be able to count that high. They thought there was a lot of gold. Yeah, they thought there was money. Ain't there always? Look, Marston, I don't know what to tell you. Things don't always work out. That ain't nothing new. Jack's gone. We lost Sean, Mac, Davy, Jenny. And for what? We can't change what's done. We can only move on. But one day, we need to start learning from our mistakes. Come on, it ain't all bad. We've had a rocky run. We'll be okay. We'll get. Yeah. Dutch will fix it. Dutch will come up with a big plan. Right now, every plan gets us into worse trouble. We're getting further from where we're meant to be going. Now, you can't put all this on Dutch. You're worked up. And rightly so. All right. Should be just down this path to the left here. Just don't get too far in your head with all this. Never get out. That's it up ahead. Four walls and a roof. We're moving up in the world. You ain't seen inside it yet. Wait, I saw something oh. red. We ain't there, are we? Oh, I gotta mount it. You sure this place is empty? I ain't sure on nothing. All right. Let's leave the horses here. Take a look. I saw something red.
still some here. I can see that. You think there's more of them? I'll check the house. You keep watch out here. Any more of you upstairs? I'm coming for you. You hear me? We'll find out who put you up to this. Dead or alive, you're leaving this place today. You are some of a coward. I'd like you. The bounty hunters. Oh yeah, no, sorry. How's it looking up there? I think we're clear. Good. Come help me with this, will you? Oh, damn, four of them? Thank you, mate. Everything all right up there? Here, give me a hand moving these bodies. I don't want the others walking into this. Oh, okay. Are you gonna help me carry these in? Follow me. This way. We'll dump the bodies in the swamp over there. Okay. I can deal with the rest of the bodies. You go meet up with the caravan. Guide them in. We got fine living. You know the corpses and the alligators, it's paradise. I love it. Miss Grimshaw, Mr. Pearson, would you two kindly work your magic? Arthur, take a ride with me. Sure. Come on. George? Yes? Could I have a word with you? <clears throat> Not now. Come on, Arthur. girl all I've got going on and she wants to talk everything okay with you two 
I got far more important things to worry about right now than Molly O'Shea. So, where are we going? To take a look at this eighth wonder of the civilized world, Saint Denis, I keep hearing about. According to the map, the road up this way should lead us right in there. All right. I guess this day ain't over yet. Not quite. Good work back there, Arthur. Everything went okay? A few loose ends. Nothing major. And John? About what you'd expect. He's taking it hard. We are going to get that boy back. Whatever it takes. I need you to start asking around in the city for Bronte. Subtly, of course. Public places, maybe start with the saloons. Anyone who can put us in contact with him. Of course. What about the Pinkertons? I'm fairly sure nobody followed us. We moved out fast. We should be safe for a few days here. And then? I think we need to move a little further. Put some ocean between us and all of this. The mess with those two families. Losing Sean. I see things differently now. For a long time, I truly believed a paradise lay somewhere in the West for us. But I just don't know anymore. So we're leaving the country now? Maybe. I'm still thinking about it. Whatever we do, we'll need more money. In any case, we have more pressing matters to attend to first. Whoa! Okay, there she is. A real city. The future. Big cities, they're always repellent. Exactly. I'll find you in there. Go see what you can figure out. Yes. Chapter four. <laughs> Chapter four, everybody. Chapter four. Isn't that beautiful? Chapter four. We're making some real progress with this game. So, oh damn, almost stepped on the dog. Hey, what's your See his earrings. Yeah. Yeah, real funny, Dutch. Oh, I, I thought so. So, here we are in a strange land of papists and rapists. America's very own Gamora. This yeah, city's all of the same to me. So, how you get on? I've been asking around about Mr. Bronte. From what I've heard, this establishment is our best lead, but I haven't had any joy in there so far. So. I should just give it a shot? I think so. Just keep it cool. You know me? I'll meet you back here, Anon. <laughs> Funny you should say that. <laughs> well, you know how it is. I told him, I say, that's the state of Lamorne. Hello? For you. America's dirty little French secret. <laughs> that's, a, that's why we love it. Born and hey, can I get a drink here? <laughs> well, I'm sorry. Please excuse me. I, I, I seem to have some very impatient customers. Now, how can I help? You look like a whiskey man. Sure. Dollar, please. For a whiskey? Oh, that's the real stuff. From Scotland. Okay. Here, have one for yourself. Well, thank you. Hey, I'm two dollars off. That ain't cool. 
Why two dollars in that? Let's just tip him a, a hundred. Me, I'm asking. No, leave it, Fred. What do you mean, leave it? Look, I don't know what business you're in, but leave it, Fred. You and your pal that was in here before. Bronte? Angelo Bronte. Mr. Big, Mr. Italian, spaghetti eating, long streak of piss big. Yeah, he makes my skin crawl. I'm so squally, a cocksucker. You know what I mean, friend? Where can I find him? Oh, well, I reckon you talk to them kids in the alley, they'll know I get. Oh, hey, friend, you, you be careful now. Immigrants, they're not to be trusted. Come on now, this sulking doesn't become you. You always... Pardon me, but have you seen any kids around this way? Yeah, I think I heard a few in the other courtyard up ahead. You can get through on the left there. Hey, you got a cigarette, mister? Maybe. Huh? I'm looking for a fellow named Angelo Bronte. I tell you. I know him. Everyone knows him. Where is he? We'll take you to him. What it'll cost. I reckon I can pay. Five dollars. Where's he live? New York? I'm an entrepreneur. If you don't want to pay, then I don't want to walk. Oh, man. That's a bad breath. Here. Come on. This away. Let's go, mister. You coming, Cleet? Stay close. Easy to get lost around here. Come on, then. I swear, if this mission costs me more mission? money. Pretty much. Don't worry. No one knows it as good as me and Cleek. Is that right? I see Hope you. you won't need his services, but you got the doctor on the corner there. Nice enough, fella. That's Baird and Schreiber on the right there. Famous bookstore. Not that I'm much of a reader myself. Now over here's a real piece of art. That's the Church of the Holy Blessed Virgin, mister. Model on the famous church in Toulouse, which is in France. You been to Toulouse, mister? No. We're Catholics here, mister. Ain't Baptist or nothing. My mama said they used to burn Protestants and all, but uh, we all friends now. Isn't that the most beautiful testament to God's love for us all? Bet they don't have nothing so fine where you come from, mister. Look at them fine. Did you call a slow poke, bitch? Who? That troll is really speeding up for him. Bastard got off. Ah, oh, damn street trash. You little bastard. I was just playing. Give me my things back. Get off me, mister. I'm a good boy. I wash. Give me my things. Here. Bronte. At home. Where? Uh, Big house on Flavian Street, opposite the park. Okay. Uh, welcome to San Denis, mister. It's quite a town. Get lost. Idiot, you're lucky I didn't beat the shit out of you. Oh, yeah. Before we go there, we need to uh, buy a few stuff. We are quite out of bullets. Can you get out of the road? 
first we buy bullets, customize a few weapons, and then go to this pronted dude. Hello? So I guess I can't buy anything whilst I'm doing the quest. That's I want bullets. Without bullets, business can't be done. Boy, what's your damn problem? Shut up. Who buy? Bunch of children. <laughs> I won't inquire anymore. But I found Mr. Bronte. Seems to be some Italian Mr. Big in town. Everybody knows him, but nobody wants to talk about him. Apparently lives in a big house on Flavian Street, opposite the park. Huh. Good work. So what now? We go pay him a visit. I'll get John. You meet us there. Whatever it takes, we need to get that boy back. I cannot decide which I like less. Bullets. The swamps or the city. Both are full of parasites, reptiles, and slime. We're a long way east of land we know, and far from real open country. We're gonna go out there when I buy bullets. Not be on the road. There's a freaking sidewalk. Welcome back. You must have been traveling for a while. Yes. Do you need any assistance? Yes, Tell I do. You want to try one out. I do need ammunition. I want all of that. Oh, you don't mess around. Not at all, mister. Not at all. Let's see what... If I can buy any new guns, you know? Always like them, the new guns. Ooh, 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 what's that? What's that? Oh, oh, what's that? This is new. Hmm. Hmm. Would you be interested in me changing some of the parts at all? Yes. Do not worry, my friend. Excellent choice. I do not mess around when it comes. I have some better quality components if you're looking for the best. Besides the shopper, I like it. I, when I come for the best, I want the best. Carvings, why not? Of course, we're gonna go with the scorpion. Only we can only do in the handle. Okay, no problem. Let's buy another one. Why not? We're gonna spend That's a fine firearm. all the money we can, yeah. Barrel, everything, bought it. Iron sight. Nope, didn't buy an iron sight. Go 
opponent's bot style medals. Bam. Bam. Wait, I saw engravings. It says I saw him now. Craving carvings, alright. Oh, it's still there. I'll buy another one. Now let's buy this. Um ancient old thing. This thing looks more you ancient than anything I've ever seen in my life. We can do that to this model for a great price. Styles, why not? Uh, metals. We do not want to want it to look rusty and stuff. So. Yeah, I'm going with the same design on every single one of them. Engravings. Oh. Oh, so it's engravings, which. Oh, now I gotta go on the other ones. Anyway. Components. Bam. 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 Barrel. Length. Got it. Uh, got all of these. Nope. Iron sight. Bam. Grip. Got. Styles. Engravings. Bam. Metals. Gonna go for the same on every single one. Bam. Carvings. Let's carve this. Bam. Let's see what else there is here. Evans repeater, why not? Let's buy this too. I mean we have quite a lot of money, you know. I could add some rifling into the bow if you want. Makes it much more accurate. I think that's the right choice for you. You Scope, made a why good not? decision. Would you be interested in me changing some of the parts at all? It really suits you. I have some better quality components if you're looking for the best. Oh, you don't mess around. No, my friend. Here, you do not mess around. Engravings. Carvings. Why not? Let's buy it, although you can't see it because it's under the thing. But anyway, leather. You see the church across the street? Father O'Leary carries a gun, a Dellinger. I sold it to him, just in case turning the other cheek doesn't work. <laughs> never, you know, you never have enough guns. Should I buy another one of these? Nah. Let me see if there's any other weapons. All right, so let's buy one. For the sake of it, um, I mean, excellent it. choice. Components, spam. Would you be interested in me changing some of the parts at all? Besides the shopper, I like it. Hmm, that's a fine firearm. We also offer an engraving service in case you are interested. We're spending big cash right now. Here. Varnish. If you're what heading is... anywhere near the slums, you should take a lot of bullets with you. Why not? Bam. I think I'm good enough with guns right now. Got what I need. Thanks, partner. Hey, boy. This 
this on. Let's have our mechanic in the which you want this. Let's have some basic stuff, you know. You never know where we're headed. There you are. You boys ready? Of course. What else do you know about this guy? Not much, just see some slick little greasy-haired European barely got power and money. Now, listen. Is this his house? Where is that one? Start shooting up the place. If it's this one, Boy's it's gonna get much shot more impressive. Out, I guarantee. Better like this, you're gonna have a lot of protection. Ain't no one gonna get shot, Arthur, so everyone just relax. We'll charm him. Trust me. Is this the place? <clears throat> Must be. You okay, John? I guess. Excuse me, sir. We have an appointment to see Mr. Bronte. Who are you? You get your boss down here and now so we can talk about this like gentlemen. Run along now, boy. Is that the special Dutch charm I heard so much about? Relax. I got this. Don't worry, boys. We come in peace. We just need to straighten a couple of things out with your boss. Sono sti buffoni. Sono qui per picciotto. Coi soldi? Why do you take his son? Excuse me. I said, why did you take his son? We ain't got no problems with you, sir. Nor you with us. But if you want to start one, there's going to be a lot of folks dead in this room before it's done. So, you walk into my city, stinking of shit and looking like this, and you come into my house Dutchers. before you have a bath, and you tell me that is the coolest act. outfit I've ever seen. You ask me to show compassion. Have I not shown you almost infinite compassion already by simply allowing you to breathe in my presence? Indeed, you have. Now. We are simple country folk. All we have is each other. And you have gone and you have took his son over some dispute with some inbred ex-slavers. It ain't got nothing to do with any one of us. You had nothing to do with destroying the liquor business. We was innocent bystanders. <laughs> and that which we weren't innocent of, well, we, we most surely were ignorant of. You twist words, you lie shamelessly. You think you are better than everyone else. 
Ti adoro. <laughs> Date da bere sti uomini. <laughs> Angelo Bronte. <laughs> Dutch Vanderlyn. Uh, Arthur Morgan. Arthur. <laughs> the pleasure is mine. John Marston. <laughs> All mine, please. <laughs> <laughs> So, uh, can weird. my friend have his son? Of course, of course. <laughs> but, uh, should I be out of pocket over a misunderstanding? Oh, of course I know, you would not want that, huh? No. No, 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 so, how about this? You perform a simple job for me, and you get your son back. What is it? A couple of people have taken to a grave robbing in this cemetery. Well, that is a fine place for it, the best. <laughs> I love this guy. I love you. <laughs> See, they've taken not only to desecrating the dead, but they've done so without paying a tribute to the living. Thing is, they see my men, of course, they're on the mild. So maybe you two head off, huh? And you, Mr. Van der Lind, you tell me more about my manners. <laughs> Salute. Salute. I'm gonna yell everybody I see. Anybody opposing? Hey, Roberts. You think he's taking us for a fool? No idea. What choice do we have? None, I guess. This is idiotic. You know where the cemetery is? I think so. Pretty sure I rode by it earlier. It's real impressive. You know, you did good holding your tongue in there. Do you trust one word that comes out of that bastard's mouth? We don't even know where Jack is. Listen, we found Bronte. We got in there. Dutch is with him now. All things considered, it could have gone a lot worse. That poor kid. I ain't been a good father to him. I hope... He's okay. He'll be fine. I figure... The Braithwaites were gonna hold Jack Ransom. For all the money we cost him. We must have sent him here so we couldn't get to him. But... Ronte knows by now there's no Braithwaites left to pay him. Jack ain't much use to him anymore. Let's just get this done, and let Dutch handle the rest. I just hope you're right. Okay, I think this is it. This is a chance to Keep try my new guns. Let's hitch the horses up ahead. This is a cemetery? This is fancier than my house, bro. Guns? Uh, no, no, no. It's fine if we get the hell out of here. Stay quiet. We don't want to spook them. Did you hear that? Wait. Oh, I'm um, sorry. Sorry. I had a, I had a bit to drink. Friend died. They can hear us, you know. Can't believe we're doing this. I know, but 
He won't care once we get the boy back. That bastard better keep his word. Somebody's gonna backstab me. Get in cover. Hey, John. Over here. You boys found my pappy's watching. I'm going to do exactly that. I don't think I'm anybody. Where are you, mate? Son of a I can think of better ways to spend an evening. Next time Dutch can go and I'll have a drink. Sure hope they ain't seeing better than we are. Just keep your head down. shot at us from <sighs> robbing grave robbers we've hit the big time we can't go back to Bronte with nothing to show for it Like I said, let's look around where they jumped us. Think there might be something in here. Got it. Good. Now let's get out of here. Shit. It's, it's locked. We'll have to go back the way we came. Stick to the side. Huh? <laughs> 
Come on, quick. Let's get back to Dutch. What? I think we lost. Well, it's lucky I ain't a religious man. Let's just get back there, collect our side of the deal. You all right? He best not be playing games with us. He almost certainly is. Let's just see. Keep your head. Act normal. How's he even gonna know we did what he asked? I got a feeling most things around here get back to him pretty fast. Like I said, we should see where we're at once we've got Jack. your time Jack. where's your host Tom. like i said you <laughs> took your time ah. i'm glad to see you let's get going what a fine man hey friend uh, thank mr looking, bronte you all for right? everything yeah i'm fine come on you know arthur mr bronte has invited us to a garden party at the mayor's house. <laughs> and us, just simple country boys. Let's go, boy. Let's go! We have a new camp set up, Jack. You're gonna love it. Coming through. Sounds good. All right, let's get this boy back to his mother. You sure you're okay, son? I'm fine. Papa Bronte said you'd come for me. I'm... I'm sorry. What for? For that. For taking so long. I had a fun time. I had my own room with a big bed and a toy box. And lots of books. Did they do anything to you? Have you ever had spaghetti? What? What's that? <laughs> What's spaghetti? It looks like worms, but it's delicious. Is that right? Papa Bronte teach me lots of Italian words. Don't call him that, please. You know, cavallo? That means horse. And spantafola? That's a slipper. A slipper? They gave me two pairs. One for day and one for night. Well, uh, I'm just glad you're all right. Oh, yes. I have they played to some mind tricks to him. To <laughs> Listen here, spaghetti. Me? She sure did. Like you wouldn't know. You had a nice night then. Most enjoyable. Well, the man's an intolerable blowhard, but he stocks a fine bar. How did you fellers get on? Any problems? A whole heap of them. We about doubled the population of that graveyard. You know, I thought I heard gunshots, <laughs> but the gramophone the, the was playing. The of the graveyard. Unbelievable. Each to their strengths, Arthur. I went in there with a gun and left with a party invitation. So, what'd you say this was? A garden party? A big gala at the mayor's house. I'm told every rich fool in Lemoyne will be there. Bronte? Oh! He'll be there, too. Seems to more or less run this city. At least, that's the way he sees it. Could open up some opportunities for us. It's been a chaotic few days. But we can finally move forward now. Hey, they're back! I think I see Jack! Abigail! Abigail! We got you, your son, everything! We got him! Mama! He's fine! I'm fine, Mama! They fed me good. <laughs> Italian food. Did you ever eat that? Come here, you silly boy. Uh, <laughs> you got him. You got my son back. Dutch, Arthur, thank you. Thank you. I got my son back. <laughs> Jack, Jack, Jack. How are you, boy? I'm fine, thanks. Everything's okay now. Abigail? Can I go play now? Ah, so. Well, we met Mr. Bronte. <laughs> he is, uh, quite a character. Is he now? You ever meet an Italian strong man before? <laughs> Not outside of a circus. Well, 
Let me tell you all about them. <laughs> John, a of a circus. you go be with your family. Arthur, thank you. Stop smoking cigarettes, food. damn it, Arthur. You're gonna have, have black drink. lungs and stuff. <laughs> we got Jack back. <laughs> well, the boys say thank goodness. Hey, thank you, Arthur. I... <clears throat> I don't know how to say it. Thank you. I understand. Come on. Do as Dutch says. <clears throat> Go be with your family. Where's my tent? I want to save. Tent is. is it that thing? Oh, it's it's in the house. Can't see much, but. Look at this, I have, I, ha I sleep in the house, unlike all the other idiots that <laughs> they sleep outside of the house. Oh yeah, I wanna look, I want my hair to look like John Wick. <laughs> but my hair is not black, but that's okay. Let's jump outside the window. Do I really have no quests? Camp party. When are the quests coming? You must be starving, son. Let me get you something to eat. We did it. Yes, we did. Thank God. Okay, I'll catch you later then. Okay. You getting involved, Bill? Just get no my order drink on suspiciously first. as usual. I, I'm just trying to give you all your moment. Is this the guy that we had tied up to the tree? I have not forgotten. What you ain't joining the party, Reverend? I don't want to ruin it. I'm feeling sorry for yourself. I, I have not forgotten what this Adrisco dude did. Oh, that's probably coming with a mission. Tahiti, dear boy. Tahiti. If you say so. <laughs> Mangoes, maidens, paradise, an unspoiled paradise. Yeah, I hope so. Faith, Arthur, have a little faith. I feel like I can breathe again. Tell us again. All right, well, I should be getting on. Whatever you say. Hmm. 
close are we to St. Denise now? So, we were here, and we came here. Damn, the Braithwaite Manor. So, no activities from a camp. From quite a long time, huh? So, I guess this is a perfect way to finish the video since I don't want you guys to be waiting for uh, for the party to finish and be able to do activities. So, yeah, I will probably. This is the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed it. It was a pretty long video, wasn't it? <laughs> Hope you enjoyed it though, and I hope you all have a wonderful day. Thank you. Subscribe.